Triambika here, internationally recognized tantric expert, featured on Playboy TV and founder of Sexuality Coaching for Soulful Men. In the first video, we covered the importance of reframing your relationship to sex in order to harness your sexual power. In this video, we're going to learn about how to cultivate your sexual energy, channeling it into creativity. You ready? Well, at the end of this video, I'm also gonna introduce what's coming next. So you wanna make sure to stick around. Second tool is to cultivate and circulate your sexual energy. So what I'm about to tell you is a radical shift in human consciousness. It's the idea of preserving your sexual energy. Sex is the most potent creative force that we know. In order to understand the use of your sexual energy, I want you to think and act in the direction of long-term gratification rather than short-term gratification. When you think short-term gratification, you generally aim for physical orgasm, which is fine. But when you realize the amazing, generative, powerful, long-term of sexual gratification, you begin to realize just how much of a dynamic force sexual energy really is. It builds up, it expands, it extends, and it leads you towards ongoing orgasmic states of bliss and ecstasy, rather than a short-term moment of sexual enjoyment. Hence, prolonging your pleasure for as long as you want, and I mean it, as long as you want. This goes for both men and women, by the way. This is where you are able to take you and your partner into higher and higher states of arousal. And so instead of having a peak orgasm and then releasing all that wonderful energy you just cultivated, you instead get to concentrate your sexual energy and you allow that energy to circulate through your whole being. Now the reason why this is important is because consistent ejaculations can be very draining. A man's life force is especially compromised the older he gets when he ejaculates frequently. What generally happens is that your sexual energy builds up and builds up in the general area and then it spews out. And the problem is that your ejaculate contains huge amounts of life force, proteins and glucose and amino acids and nutrients. And the loss of all that energy often leaves a man feeling pretty drained. Some men will feel extremely depleted after ejaculation and take a really long time to recover. Well, some men take less time. Now, I know that ejaculations can be amazing and in some cases, just what the doctor ordered. Yet, the more often you do it, the more depleted you will feel and the older you are, the more dangerous this becomes. So the point is, ejaculations take a lot out of you and you can lose your function and you can find that you're not functioning at your best, which means that you might not be performing as well in life, might not be as creative, you might not be as healthy. And this is all because there is a depletion of energy. The problem is that oftentimes when men are making love and they do want to come, and they don't want to, but they don't want to come too soon, they'll start thinking about something else. They'll start thinking about basketball or some other thing, right, that completely takes them away from the experience in hopes to disengage from the sensation and then hopefully last a little longer. Now, while you might think that this works really well, in reality, it's less connected. In other words, the less connected you are to your mind and your body, the less control you're gonna have over it. Not to mention, the less connected you'll feel to your partner and the less connection she's gonna feel to you. So it's gonna leave this kind of energetic gap between you and her. And so her heart and her body are longing for you to be totally with her, totally present. And when you go think about basketball, it takes you away. So we wanna keep you in the game, literally all the way in. We want to keep you in the experience in, of the sensation with her. Here's what you need to do that works really well instead. If you wanna function at your best, you can definitely still arouse sexual energy and even orgasm, but learn to ejaculate less. That's right, you heard me correctly. You can separate your orgasm from ejaculations. Imagine that! <laughs> Start preserving your sexual energy. Engaging and activating your arousal, but instead of heading for that peak and losing your semen, 
Think about hanging out in those high states of arousal. Relax into it. Take a slower, deeper breath and imagine this energy is flowing through your whole body. Just keep yourself relaxed. Keep relaxing into it and pause without ejaculating. And then move into the rest of your day. Now this is when your highest creative states are available to you. You can just alternate sexual activation with using your creativity to work on projects and develop ideas. You can do this. This is called sexual cultivation, which is containing sexual energy and channeling it into creativity. And all the highest tantric masters do it. Remember, sexual energy is the ultimate creative power. This is how we were born. This is how we are generated. So of course, sexual energy is a, a conscious power that you can stream through you and activate your mind, your, your power of speech, your ability to generate things you couldn't have ever even dreamed of. Here's how you're gonna do it. First, connect with your breath. Slow down and use the power of intention. So let's begin with slowing down. This is the number one thing I tell every man I work with when it comes to sex. I understand the desire to rush things, especially because the longer the process of sex lasts, the more likely some things will surface within you that might be a little uncomfortable. But slow down. When that discomfort within you arises, just face it. Face it head on. One thing I know for sure is that living a fast forward life is a recipe for bad sex. So don't get me wrong, speedy sex can be a good thing. Trust me, I like a quickie just as much as the next person. But if sex is always fast and furious, then we do miss out on some of the delicious subtleties. Slowing down in bed can deepen the emotional and even the spiritual power of sex. It also gives the body especially the female body, <laughs> the time it needs to warm up. And that's a good thing. So keep your movements slow and steady and let the stimulation build gradually. Instead of being forceful, tease and titillate your partner by holding back a little bit and varying the angles and speed and deepen when necessary. So whether you're having sex with a partner or self-pleasuring, you want to become extra aware of the increasing level of your sexual arousal. You want to put all your attention on the sensations you're feeling, okay? Breathe deeply and allow your muscles to relax. You can do a lot of control of your ejaculation simply by focusing on relaxing and breathing. And that's it. There's more, but that's enough sometimes. So when both partners are ready, you can speed up together for you know a very explosive finish, but start out slower, breathe deeper. And as Mae West famously quoted, anything worth doing is worth doing it slowly. So if you're interested in cultivating your sexual energy, realize that this takes time, but you're sure to have fun in the whole practicing process. Spend some time throughout the entire sexual act just breathing. Try to breathe from your belly. Breathing from your belly stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, so it calms everything down and it encourages more relaxation response, it improves your digestion, and drum roll please, it nurtures sexual vitality. Here's the trick that will help. You wanna slow down your breath, and you wanna slow down your body. So it's two things. If you think about when you were breathing during sex, you're usually breathing maybe short and shallow, kind of fast pace, right? Think about the last time you were self-pleasuring. What was your breathing like? So the tendency is for your breath to stay short and shallow. And this sensation then gets to stay right there, down there. And it wants to do that because ultimately your body wants to have a climax, unless you don't want to have a climax yet. So your breath, being short and shallow, actually keeps your arousal in the spot where it feels good and where it's going to peak, where it's going to climax, and then it's going to drop you down. So you'll peak, climax, and then drop you down from lower than where you started originally, as you probably know, especially with men. So most men will peak and then drop down lower from where they started, and that's not as fun, especially if you wanna keep going, right? 
Maybe you didn't want to do that just as soon as you did. I feel that your breath is so essential to extending your lovemaking practice. It is the way to do it. Deeper, slower, fuller, longer breaths. It's about taking that sensation that you feel so strongly down in your genitals and it's like, oh, you just want to keep pushing for it and you just want to keep going for it and using your breath, inhaling, feeling and imagining that that breath can actually move up through you. So it's important, it's imperative that you keep using your breath throughout that whole process. Keep deepening your breath as you feel the sensation down in your genitals. Take a deeper, slower, fuller breath and let that breath travel up through you. Usually what's going to happen if you don't breathe is that you will ejaculate much sooner than you wanted to. So if you continue to breathe, what's going to happen is you're going to give it a chance to circulate, to travel through you. And once it starts circulating through you, anything is possible. You can, you can heal your organs, you can heal your brain chemistry, you can channel this energy towards things that you're creating in your life. Your sexual energy has the power to draw towards you the things that you ultimately dream of. And this is powerful energy. Not only that, of course, you're also getting to prolong your sexual experience. So what do you say? Sounds interesting? I think so. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. In video three, we're going to cover and discuss why you need to sexercise daily for endless stamina and greater sexual potency. So it's really important you watch the next video.